obviously a division team on the road, um, a game that has, as we know, there's a very storied history between the Cowboys and Giants. I think um, if we talk about that, you, have, you know, you sit and you're a kid watching games on TV, you remember watching the Cowboys play the Giants. And, um, but most importantly, it's a division game, and probably even more importantly than that, it's the next game. So uh, a run offense that runs the ball really well, um, they're going to give 21 a bunch of touches. They're going to find some really creative ways to get him going. Um, they're going to stretch it hard and cut the ball back. They're going to give you some gap scheme with some pullers. Um, they're going to get big personnel on the field, and they're going to run the ball downhill at you. So you're going to get a little bit of everything. They do a nice job with that. Then after that, the boots, the play passes, the taking a shot down the field, some movement stuff to get completions and um, try to get you in some one-on-ones on the perimeter and throw the ball down the field. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a great challenge. I, I, I think our guys um, had really good prep yesterday. It was, it was a better Wednesday than last week, I'll say that. And more importantly, we just came from a good walkthrough because that was the next thing. And that's all we're going to do this whole season. Win, lose, doesn't, you know, that, that doesn't, that's not going to change our preparation. It's, a, it's process, process, process. And that's what we talked about defensive when we came in in the, in the meeting room and watched tape on Monday. So um, that being said, anybody have any questions? Why was it a better, why was it a better Wednesday than yesterday? Um, what did you see from that? You know, I felt great energy on the field. I really did. I think our guys are building confidence every day. You know, it, at the end of the day, um, the years of experience of the players on the field doesn't matter as much as their years, their, their experience of snaps playing together. And the more these guys play together, the better they're going to be able to play off of each other and with each other. And you can see that, I think, defensively, I can see that confidence kind of growing day by day, um, both in the communication part of it, which is going to be vital, than just the execution of the jobs that they need to do. James, I know it's a little different at this stage of the season when it comes to practice and you can't tackle to the ground or anything like that, but how helpful is it having a back like Saquon against your defense every day going into a matchup against Zeke, very similar running back in a focal point in their offense? Yeah, you know, we have, you know, one of the premier backs in the league. There's no question. I think he showed that on Sunday. Um, you know, gave us a bunch of excitement and got guys going on the sideline with that special run he had. Um, and, and, and seeing him play in practice and defending a guy that, that can split out and catch the ball and put him in the backfield, can run the ball downhill at you, makes great, great one cut moves and will at the same time lower his pad and power you. Um, there's, there's certainly some similarities and, um, you know, I'm glad we got Saquon, that's for sure. How different are they is preparing for them without Jason Witten and Dez Bryant, two guys who were there for what feels like ever? Yeah, you know, well, you, you're talking about, when you talk about a tight end, you're talking about, probably, you know, arguably one of the best ones, top five to ever play the game. So um, there's certainly a lot of respect for him as a player. Uh, but they're, they're, they're working right now to try to find who those guys are on the perimeter. You know, who's going to get the big touches on the outside as a receiver and uh, which tight ends may be going to be the focal point. I think at the end of the day, they have a, a belief and philosophy on offense. Um, and that starts with running the football. And that, that didn't matter if you know, Des was in the game or didn't matter who the tight end was. That, that's the focus. And then the play passes and the boots off of that. We you limit the Jaguars to 13 points as shoving out in the second half. How do you feel about you that's performance coming off that game? You lose the game, but you shove them out in the second half. Yeah, you know, make no mistake. There's no, you know, we don't feel great about losing, number one. Um, two, I love the energy and the effort we played with. There's some plays on tape where there's balls that are on the sideline and I'm seeing eight, nine, the tennis guys show up. And that's who we have to be. And that's what our opponents need to see on tape when they turn us on. And really that's what our fans should expect and deserve from us. Um, there were some, some plays in the run game where we need to fit better and we need to play better. You know, the backed up run is a disappointing play, certainly because that's points. You know, we hold them backed up. We're, we're thinking that's a, that's a scoring play on defense, and we just need to execute better in that moment. Um, but very encouraged. But at the same time, I love the thought that we came in Monday. We talked about what we needed to correct, and our guys are really working like pros, and they're working to correct those things. And so we can stack that stuff, and we don't have to go back and correct some of the same stuff over again. How vital is the pass rush this week against a quarterback like Dak if he gets loose? 
Yeah, you know, experienced it last year when, when we played. I mean, he got out of the pocket twice on us and, and hurt us getting out of the pocket. Um, pass rush is important, but, but controlled rush is just as important with him. Um, making him throw, just like we did last week, we we're trying to make him throw from tight wells. Make him, make him feel the pocket closing on him. Um, you know, it's not about whether you say the word spy or don't spy. I think some people use that term, but it's eyes. Who has eyes? You know, who's the guy that has eyes on the quarterback as we're trying to still aggressively rush with four or five or whatever that might be? Wondering what you thought of the pressure last week overall. I mean, I think, I think you had one sack of week. Yeah, I, 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 I thought, um, you know, there's a couple times in our four-man rush where we just got to be, you know, I got to coach it a little better. That's really where it starts. I got to get us so we're not high on rushes and we can feel the counters um, on the perimeter then in some of our pressures, just understanding if we're getting the back or we're getting the tight end, those are the must win situations in the rushes. You know, um, sometimes, you know, we never get confused that we're, we're, we would love every time you call pressure to have a bunch of guys running free, but that's not the reality of it. The reality of it is that you try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups and you try to win those one-on-one -on -one matchups and make quarterbacks um, timing and thought process have to speed up. And, um, so there's some good stuff, and there's some stuff that, in terms of the edge and feeling how high we are in rushes, and also some of the one-on-ones we need to do a better job with. Yeah, I, I, I think both of them. You know, uh, Lorenzo played a little over 30 snaps in the game, and um, I think the more he played, the better he played. And I think BJ was the same way. The the longer the game went on, the better he got. And um, you know, we just gotta. Just be clued in early in this game. We need those end of game snaps that we got from both of those guys. We need them early in this game. Yeah. Um, I, you know, shoot, when you're talking about one of the elite pass rushers in the league, do you miss them? Sure, you'd love to have them. I think any, you go ask the other 31s if they want OV, the all 31s will say yes. Um, but I, I do love the makeup of that room. You know, I love Connor, Kareem, Zoe. All those guys got their hand in a pile, and you can see them. We're lining them up in different spots. Sometimes, you know, Connor's inside. Sometimes Kareem's inside, and we're moving them around and trying to get them on matchups. And they've embraced all of it, and, and they're working their tails off. And um, I liked as a group. I liked how that. I like how they played as a group. Second. Take two more questions. The secondary. I think you had two passes at 20 yards or more. Was that just a good coverage on your guys? Um, you know, shoot, we don't want any passes at 20 yards or more. But I'm, I'm not saying that critically to your question whatsoever. Um, but that's what I would say to our guys in the room. Um, no, I think those guys in the back, back end did a, he did a heck of a job. They really did. Um, I think some of it was just awareness, you know, and it, that's each and every week. You go and look at a new opponent and what are the splits and what are the routes you're getting out of those splits and if the tight end's here versus the tight end's there. And we, we just got to keep growing that situational awareness and, and we got to keep coaching the heck out of it and do a better job coaching it. But um, I thought that was something going in that game, our guys played pretty good awareness. James, with, with Landon, he's such a playmaker being aggressive going forward. Can teams try to neutralize that factor when he's such a playmaker coming forward? I don't know if it's staying away from him, but it just seems like when he, you know, when he has that big splash play, it kind of gets gets everybody. No, there's there's no question. I, I mean, can they scheme against him? I'm sure they can try to do that stuff. And at the end of the day, that's where we got to do a good job of coaches and putting him in good spots. Number one, and um, and moving him around a little bit. Number two, then at the end of the day, don't don't make it don't make it too hard to get out and play, get your eyes right, get in a good stance, and um, it's 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 football. So. Um, but we won't overthink it from that start standpoint.